Chris, people take a lot of anti-inflammatories today, right. over-the-counter prescriptions. Cat's claw, tell us about this herb. It has anti-inflammatory properties, right? Yeah, right now the holy grail in pharmaceutical development is mm -hmm. anti-inflammatories. And we saw Merck's horrific disaster with Vioxx, you know, yes. doubling people's risk of cardiovascular disease, you know, heart attack and stroke. That was just an awful Seizures thing. Seizures too, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's bad. Okay. Um, everybody's looking for the great, safe, super effective anti-inflammatory. All right. I, that I would agree. That can be patent. <laughs> <laughs> now, I knew you were going to follow okay, up with that. Okay. Now, the good news about cat's claw is because there's prior knowledge, because mm -hmm. the information's out there, it can't be patented, so it can't be stolen, basically. But cat's claw is the anti-inflammatory that all the drug companies wish they could produce. Hmm. It's extremely powerful. It inhibits the COX-2 enzyme, which is what you want to do. It doesn't inhibit the COX-1 enzyme, which is responsible for keeping our gastrointestinal tract healthy. That's good. Okay. Um, it's very powerful. The science on it is vast and deep. It's not one study. It's mul multiple dozens of studies. We know that the alkaloids in cat's claw are potently anti-inflammatory. I use cat's claw for pain. You do? Like yeah. taking an aspirin? Yeah, I like taking an aspirin. Um, you know, I have some injuries from my old days of practicing the martial arts, so the injuries are real and they mm -hmm. hurt, and mm -hmm. I'm middle-aged, and so I feel it. And when I take cat's claw, eh, I either don't feel the pain at all, or it's greatly reduced, and all quickly right. so. And it doesn't have an effect, a negative effect on your digestive system? Nothing happens to your digestive doesn't system. Doesn't hurt the liver? No. I mean, actually, if you have inflammatory uh, digestive problems, like, let's say, uh, you know, intestinal inflammation, that kind of thing, mm -hmm. um, it will help with that. Okay. It won't, it, won't be, it won't be counterproductive in any way. But cat's claw is also very significant in its immune-enhancing oh. properties. Um, if your immune function is low, let's say you're an immune-compromised population, people with HIV, people who are recovering from horrific uh, disorders, uh, chemotherapy sufferers, sure. people who are, are living with suppressed immune function, cat's claw will bring it up to a normal, healthy level. But here's the crazy thing about cat's claw. It's not an immune booster. It's an immune modulator. Mm -hmm. If your immune function is too high, as in the case of autoimmune disorders, uh, like rheumatoid arthritis would be a classic, okay? Mm -hmm. Where your body is actually killing you because your immune system is pumping out too many immune factors, it will bring that function down to a healthy level. A lot of people think of immunity like you want more of it. Right, okay? right, that's true. But think about your body. Your temperature, if it's too low or too high, you die. If your heartbeat is too low or too high, you die. If your respiration is too low or too high, you die. With immune function, it's the same thing. Every, all of these functions in our bodies happen within a range, a mm, mid-range. The range, yes. And cat's claw helps you to establish that mid-range. Um, in Austria, for example, mm -hmm. a preparation of cat's claw is a by prescription drug for the primary treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. People actually get off rheumatoid, rheumatoid arthritis medications and stabilize mm -hmm. taking just cat's claw, like 20 milligrams a day. I mean, very, very little. Uh -huh. It also has significant tumor inhibiting properties, and we see it being used as a complementary therapy for the treatment of reproductive cancers especially. Hmm. So. Cat's claw is this absolute monster of a medicine. If, if it suffers any problem, I, I mm -hmm. think it suffers two problems. Okay. Most people don't know it exists. That's problem number that one. That would be a big one, yes. Number two, when people hear about it, they think, 
A plant can't possibly <laughs> be that it's powerful. Sound, it sounds so wise. That yeah. It's like it's, the herb has wisdom. Oh, too well, high, too low. We get to the middle. It's that nature possesses wisdom. There you nature go. has to take millions and billions of creatures mm -hmm. and keep them all in some sort of a balance. Now, I mean, we're doing a good job messing up that balance. Oh, yes. But, uh, but nature is fundamentally wise. You know, sometimes people will say, what's good in an apple? The correct answer is the whole darn apple, okay? <laughs> you know, what's good in nature? The balance, the wisdom, the diversity, the tremendous life, the whole cycle of life, you know, this is a, for us, it's a rich pharmacy. And cat's claw, if you've got pain, if you've got inflammation, if mm -hmm. you've got immune disorders, mm -hmm. um, you want to be taking cat's claw because it is far superior, far superior to the anti-inflammatory immune enhancing agents that are out there in the drug world. So I, I'm, I'm an ardent pulpit pounding advocate for cat's claw. <laughs> One time a woman from Wall Street Journal asked me a question. She said, what does it take to make an herb popular? What does it and take? And I said, it takes you. Mm. And she said, what do you mean? And I said, our culture is ruled by the media. If the media will favor a particular thing like St. John's wort mm -hmm. or kava or whatever, echinacea or cat's claw, if people find out about it, they try it, that herb will do well. It will. Without huh? that media coverage, without, you know, TV, radio, newspapers, magazines, all the different media that we use, and of course the internet today, mm -hmm. uh, something will languish in obscurity. Very well put. The, the language and obscurity is there, but nobody knows. Right, so. right. I mean, the native people know, right. but we don't. But we don't, and we need it. <laughs> we do, we do. Thanks. Mm -hmm.